Welcome back to the Gift Up Podcast. We have breaking news. The Lions will be sending Matthew Stafford to the Rams for two first rounders. And I think it's a win-win. Do I think the Rams overpaid for Stafford? Absolutely. Ideally, I think a second round pick would have been nice, but it's a thin quarterback market, which raises the value. The Rams simply made the best possible move they could to get better at the quarterback position this year. They want to win now, and they're not in position to draft a quarterback, and they've already seen what they could get from Jared Goff. There was no way the Rams could go through another season getting as far as they did, only to lose because of subpar quarterback play again. And that's exactly what's been going on with the Rams. I have no doubt in my mind that if they had a top 10 quarterback in this year's playoffs, they would have beaten Green Bay, and then who knows how far they would have gotten. Make no mistake about it. The problem with Jared Goff wasn't his thumb. It's that he's afraid to take hits in the pocket and doesn't see the whole field. He has to have perfect blocking, perfect play design. And even with that, it's still not enough with McVay having guys run wide open. He's nothing more than a bridge backup quarterback. Stafford, on the other hand, is not afraid to take punishment in the pocket and will be very efficient in McVay's system. He'll elevate it. I see him being able to make it work with the talent the Rams have. Akers running the football. Stafford off a of play action hitting Robert Woods and, and Cooper Cup. It sounds pretty good to me. When's the last time Stafford had any kind of a support system? The Kelvin Johnson era, and even then, the team had other issues, and it solely relied on Stafford slinging it. Here with the Rams, I think Stafford is going to be very comfortable. It's not going to be all on him. And I agree with people who say Stafford is a bit overrated. I don't think that he can make a bad organization better but he can help an already good one out. Goff couldn't do that. And with the Lions, what are they going to do with Goff? I get that they got value with the two first rounders, but my question is, what have they done with their drafts the last few years? They never were able to build a team before, so why would anyone think they can do that now? I think the whole situation with Dan Campbell is going to blow right back in Detroit's face. And this Jared Goff move is just going to fuel that when they can't score points. It's going to make the whole situation a lot more frustrating. If Goff is a liability in McVay's system with receivers running wide open, how much of a liability is he going to be without the same kind of support under Dan Campbell's coach team? We already don't like the sound of that. I gave that coaching grade a D plus. And again, I think this just fuels it. In my guess, uh, this is all going to be a big problem. And I guess Detroit doesn't have a choice at this point because Stafford made his stance very clear. He wanted out. But that doesn't change the fact that I'll probably be ranking Detroit in the bottom three of the league when we do our preseason power rankings. With that, make sure to hit the like button, share the videos, and subscribe.